Hi everyone, I had such ambitious plans for today. I had planned to get up early and do a long reading and walking vlog. I've done quite a few of these, which is where I walk around London and I show you the walk that I'm going on and I talk to you about an audiobook that I'm listening to as I go. But I woke up this morning, which is Sunday the 15th of December with a migraine and it's now midday and I'm just feeling functional again. So I still wanna do a reading and walking vlog, but it won't be quite so long. So what I want to do is I want to hop on the tube and go to London Bridge and walk to Maltby Street Market, which is one of my favorite food markets in London. And then I'm gonna walk up, I don't know how much time I'll have, but I'm gonna walk up through to Old Street and then I need to go to Clean Pros, which is a new writing workspace that's open in the centre of town and I am one of their founding members and it's their Christmas party so I need to go to the Christmas party which is between three and seven so I need to get there at some point I'll probably get there maybe just after it gets dark which will be about half four I think so that is my plan to go to Maltby Street Market and then walk up through the city and the book that I am listening to at the moment is Tuesday's Gone by Nikki French, which is the second book in the Frida Klein series. I'm listening to the whole series again. Um, but I also have downloaded a new Sarah Waters book that I've never read before called Affinity. So if I feel like switching on something that I haven't read before, I can read that. I actually don't know what it's about. So let's quickly Google what it is about. Uh, oh, Affinity Water is apparently a company. That's not what I want. I would like the book, please. Okay, Affinity by Sarah Waters. This will be my fourth Sarah Waters book and I'm keeping Fingersmith till last because that seems to be everybody's favorite. So this one is set in and around the women's prison at Millbank in 1870s. Affinity is an eerie and utterly compelling ghost story, a complex and intriguing literary mystery and a poignant love story with an unexpected twist. So there's that one and I also have the Little Stranger, let's see which one I like the sound of more. Uh, the Little Stranger by Sarah Waters, which says, in a dusty post-war summer in rural Warwickshire, a doctor is called to a patient at Lonely Hundreds Hall. Home to the heir's family over two centuries, the Georgian house, once grand and handsome, is now in decline. Its masonry crumbling, its gardens choked with weeds, owners, mother, son and daughter struggling to keep pace. But are the areas haunted by something more sinister than a dying way of life? Ooh, I think I maybe prefer the sound of that one. So maybe I will listen to that one instead. So The Little Stranger, Affinity and Fingersmith are the three that I haven't read yet. I don't think that I'm missing any. Um, so yeah, I will listen to The Little Stranger if I would like a change from the Frida Klein novel. And then if I sit down to have a cup of tea or a bite to eat, then I will read this, which is Confession with Blue Horses by Sophie Hoddock. This is about a woman called Ella. She's trying to work out what happened to her younger brother who was taken from her family when they were living in East Berlin in the 1980s. So it's a split narrative, mostly set in um, East Berlin in the 1980s and then some of it set in 2010. I've only read, well actually, I've only read half of it and I'm really enjoying it. So, those are the books that I'm reading. That's the walk that I'm going on. I will show you the walk that I'm doing. I'll link the map in the description box down below. I will make a map once I know where I've walked to and then I will stop occasionally to chat to you about the books as I go. So, let's go. me inserting this clip because I felt a little bit self-conscious filming myself talking about the books as I was walking so we'll go back to the walking footage in a second but I just wanted to insert some thoughts on the actual books. I decided not to listen to Tuesday's Gone because as much as I am loving re-listening to the Frida Klein series 
I have talked about them quite a lot, so I decided I would spare you, and <laughs> instead I would listen to something new. And I decided to listen to The Little Stranger, and when I started listening to it, I realised that the reason I hadn't listened to this particular Sarah Waters book yet was, one, because it doesn't seem to be many people's favourite, but also it has a different narrator to all of the other books, and I love the other narrator, so I think I was a bit apprehensive about listening to this one, which is narrated by, I hope I'm getting this right, by Simon Vance. If not, I will insert the name on the screen, but I'm pretty sure it's Simon Vance. And the reason that it's narrated by him is because it is a male protagonist. So it's about a man called Dr. Faraday, who's called to Hundreds Hall because the heirs' servant, Betty, is ill. She says she's ill, she's 14, but it turns out she's just homesick. And Dr. Faraday takes pity on her. When he's there, he starts talking to the family. It turns out that Dr. Faraday used to play sometimes in the hall because his mum used to work there back in its heyday, but now the hall is falling into disrepair. They only have two people working there, plus obviously the family who live there. Rod, the son who lives there, has got back from the Second World War. He was injured in the Second World War in a um, fighter plane crash. He has issues with his leg and not just with him, but with a different character. This book is talking about body and disfigurement, which as always excites me and also makes me quite cautious. Um, but so far it seems to be handling this topic quite well. So that's making me very happy. It's a really creepy book, creepy old house. Betty the servant thinks that the house is haunted. Yeah, it's really atmospheric and I'm really glad that I'm reading it at this time of year. As I mentioned, I wanted to walk to Mulpey Street Market, so that's the clip that you've just seen. And from there, I decided to walk along the Thames, the Tower Bridge, past all of the German market stalls that are along there, which were really lovely to walk past. And then I hopped on the tube at London Bridge to go to Old Street to go to Clean Prose. Clean Prose is a writing space for writers. It's three floors. The ground floor is a writing space and also an event space. The middle floor is a community space and the top floor is a silent writing space. So I'm one of their founding members. I have a gift membership for a year and I've been doing lots of events with them recently. Well, lots, several events with them recently and I'll be doing more in the new year. So it was their Christmas party and I stopped by to say hello and it was lovely. So that was the end of my walk. I didn't get to walk as far as I would have liked to because I was limited by daylight and also the migraine that I'd had earlier that day. I'm still reading both of these books, Confession with Blue Horses and The Little Stranger, and I'm enjoying both. With Confessions with Blue Horses, I'm loving all of it, but I am particularly loving the part set in East Berlin in the 1980s, which is a bit of history, to be honest, that I am not massively familiar with. We mainly studied, um, up to the Second World War, and then we did a bit of the USSR in the 1980s um, and 1990s, but not so much what was going on in Germany. So I'm really enjoying learning about that and also just being around the family um, that are the focal point of this novel because 
it's just so well written. I will speak about both of these books once I have finished reading them. I hope you're all having a great week and I will speak to you very soon. Lots of books, love. Bye.